Hi guys, I'm back with another video today and it's a Valentine's look. As you can see, it's like a light pink with gold glitter. So I already primed my face. I'll put the link down below. And I'm going to use the Revlon Makeup, well, Revlon, Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Palette. And I'm going to use all my eyeshadows from this palette. So I'm going to go in with that color, the fifth color on the top. It has my finger mark in there. <laughs> but I forgot the most important part. My tape. I used to do my eyeshadow without tape. But I feel like it's more precise with the tape. And I like more precise. I guess you could say. And sorry if you hear Elmo in the background, that's my son's show. Okay, so I grabbed a fluffy brush with that pink color that I showed you, and now I'm just blending it in to the crease. Today was such a busy day for me because my son is sick, so I had to take him to the doctor, we had to get x-rays, it was a crazy busy day. But now we're home, and he's feeling a lot better. He's watching Elmo, and he's staring at me right now, smiling. Anyways, I'm going to keep blending and blending. You know how that goes. And I'm still waiting on to do the giveaway once I get 100 subscribers. I'm going to put that video out. I do have another video. I have, I'm not sure if I want to put it up. It's just unpackaging my unpackaging. Like, un opening my Ipsy bag. So, I zoomed in there. Please ignore my freaking pimple on my nose. Like, I don't know why I've been having breakouts. Okay, so I'm going to go with the color right under that. And I'm going to just go over it with the same fluffy brush. Right on top of the color I already laid out. And blend it in there. I feel like I have, like really big eyelids and like not enough crease is that weird so like when i do a cut crease it's kind of hard for me to do cut creases i'm not perfect at them i try oh yeah my eyebrows are like really bad i don't know what the heck i was thinking i just i was in such a rush and i was so tired i'm literally right now i'm like three hours of sleep so i'm gonna just blend those two colors together i always like to put a lighter color first and put a color on top just like so a blend out easier Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the same palette and I'm going to go to the bottom to the bottom row, the fourth color, and I'm going to grab an angled brush, a skinny angled brush. And I'm going to just cut out my like crease, I guess. And this is also going to be pretty much a base and it'll be a base for the glitter, you'll see. Sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy. I'm trying to be not so loud because it's pretty late right now. I know my son's up. I should put him to bed, but he's going to fall asleep watching Elmo. I think he deserves that after he's been at the doctor so much. Bless you, baby. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, sorry. I was talking to my son. Uh, back to this makeup. So I'm going to just keep applying until I feel like it's dark enough. Then I'm going to grab the same blending brush that I used to apply the other two colors and just blend in the crease. Keep blending. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the lightest shade, like always. And I'm going to pretty much cut out my lid. Hmm. I don't know why it just cracks like that for me. I know it's so weird. I realize I always do like, it looks like I'm doing a straight line, but I'm really not. It looks so different in my mirror. Yeah. 
Okay, you see there, I applied too much product, and I'm going to fix that later. I'm going to just add my three colors over it. Easy. Yeah. So I gave my son an inhaler today, but they didn't say he had asthma. She really didn't say what he had. The only thing I know is that he doesn't have pneumonia, bronchitis, anything bacterial. So that's good because they did x-rays on him for that. Okay, so I'm going to just clean that up with a brush. I think the pinks are such a pretty color. I want to do a red, like a red eyeshadow look but I think I'm kind of scared because usually when I do red I do like a brick red so it's not that scary but I want to do like a red red and that one is very messed up I don't know what the heck I was thinking doing my eyebrows like, I was probably like half asleep just doing them I probably look like death at the freaking doctor because I have horrible bags as you'll probably see in the video <sighs> it was such a hard night okay so I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take that color that I'm pointing so I don't know why I'm gonna take that second color on the top I don't know why I was pointing I'm always looking at the screen and I shouldn't do that because it confuses me even more oh my gosh I don't even know how my son like started liking Elmo. He doesn't even watch that. He watches Baby First TV all day. And on the phone, he wants to watch Elmo. So now that I look at the video, I think that the color, I should have applied the first color. It would have popped out a little bit more, but it didn't look that bad. So now I'm going to take that Revlon. I do not know what it's called. I'll put it down below, but it's like... An eye, a liquid eyeshadow and then the glitter on the other side and I'm going to put it into the crease where I pretty much put that line that line <laughs> the other crease <laughs> cut crease color I know a lot of people are going to probably be like oh you shouldn't do voiceovers when your son's awake but this is me. I'm a mom, you know. Whatever time I have that my son's okay, I'm going to take it because if not, I need to get sleep because I really need sleep right now. <laughs> and then you see there, I kind of messed up a little bit. with, Like, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend this glitter. The I guess it's easy to use, but sometimes the product comes out too much and it's really, like, patchy. I really like the NYX glitters and the NYX glitter glue. I love it. I'm going to do a look, a Valentine's look with that next. But it's like, where am I going to go to do that? People are going to look at me like I'm crazy. I'm going to do, last time for New Year's, I mixed in the pink and the gold. Well, I, it's rose, and I mixed in the gold with it. So I made rose gold on my own. I really want to try different ones, so I'm probably going to go tomorrow and get some more glitters. It's just, I don't wear glitters much, only on special occasions, because I feel like people are going to look at me like, where's this girl going to prom? <laughs> but who cares what people think? If you want to wear glitter, wear glitter. Okay, so here, I'm dragging it down onto pretty much where I would put my eyeliner, just because the other one came out too thick, and so I'm pretty much cutting out my lid. Yeah, you could say that. So I'm pretty much putting like glitter around my lid to cut it out. And then I'm moving my hand around so I can dry the glitter because it does transfer a lot. And if it transfers, it just makes a mess. I remember the first time I used it, oh my god, it was horrible. There was glitter like all the way on top. It was almost an I'm wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Then I'm going to grab my e.l.f. eyeliner. I did my eyeliner off camera as usual. Then I'm going to grab my foundation, Infallible Pro Glow, the usual. Blend it in with the beauty blender. I kind of speeded this up because I'm like, you guys always see me do the same step. And the eyeshadow, I guess, is the main part. Because everybody knows pretty much how to blend their makeup. And if you don't, comment below so I could show you in a video. Um, then I'm applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer under my eyes. My really bad bags. 
I'm gonna apply some on my chin. I applied a little too much and right on my forehead. Then I'm gonna blend that out. I do not know why I started blending my eyes, my under eyes first. Like I usually don't do that. I guess I was just tired, but I realized. I add some to my cupid's bow. I'm blending everything out. So now I'm going back and blending out my under eyes. I was really tired when I made this video. I'm now that I'm watching, I'm like, wow. <laughs> I apply some over my nose. As you can see, I kind of apply too much on my chin, but it's okay. I blend it out. Now I'm going to add my Better Than Sex mascara. I usually bake after I add concealer, but I've been noticing that it makes me cakey, so I'm going to let the concealer dry a bit and add my Better Than Sex mascara first. See, now I'm grabbing my Airspun translucent powder and I'm gonna bake so I usually only apply powder under my eyes why well, I, I like grab powder and apply it under my eyes and then whatever's left on my beauty sponge I'll just add to my chin my forehead and my cupid's bow I'm gonna grab my Anastasia contour kit I'm gonna grab that first color for contouring apply on my cheekbones I think I like this one better than the middle color and I really thought I was gonna love the middle color I just feel maybe it matches my skin more, my skin color more, my skin. And apply some on my forehead, just to blend everything together. And I'm blending that, then I'm going to apply some on my jawline, and on my neck. I just feel like it blends everything together when I do that. And then I'm going to apply some more translucent powder, very little, under where I contoured and in the middle of my neck. Then I'm going to dust everything off, even what I just added. Like, literally, that's how long I leave it for. Because I don't want it to get cakey or look too powdery. Okay, so I'm going to go back with the same palette. And I'm literally only going to grab the color that I put to make the cut crease. So the fourth color was it on the bottom? Let me see. Yeah, it was the fourth color on the bottom. And it's like a mauve pink rose. So I'm grabbing that one. And then I'm going to go in with blush. And I'm going to use Mellow Mauve from e.l.f. And just apply that to my cheekbones. I was really not going to do blush today because I was literally about to forget, but I remembered. Okay, then I'm going to go back with my contour kit from Anastasia, and I'm going to grab that color, Sand. And that's going to be my highlight shade because I ran out of my Becca and I need to go buy more. Like my third time, seriously. And I buy the big one. I don't buy like the sample one. I really want to try that one though so I could put liquid under and then put it on top. Oh my gosh. I really, oh my god, and I don't know what happened there. Like I don't know if the powder below the sand got on, but I just literally blended it out. And it went away. I hope. Imagine it did it. And I am going to blend out my contour more because I noticed that it was too harsh, but I did that off camera. Okay, so I already applied my lashes and they are part of my Ardell Lash Lookbook. And they are the ones that are small. They flare out at the ends. I'll get the number for you and put it in the link below. Then I'm going to grab my NYX Embellishment Liquid Lipstick and apply it to my lips, obviously. I look hilarious applying lipstick. I have like no lips. I don't know if I've said this before, but I really want lip surgery. Not lip surgery. Lip injections. <laughs> My boyfriend's not crazy. But like I literally have the smallest lips ever. Maybe not ever. Apple 
and I did fix my eyeliner up a bit once I I always fix my eyeliner up once I apply lashes and I added a highlight to my cupid's bow but I forgot to put that part too so please subscribe I hope you liked the video and I'm going to be doing more Valentine's Day looks thank you